Hi, this is Sue Mei. We're going to talk about variety of papers that we use for Chinese brush painting. So the first one is grip paper. Grip paper is designed with columns for you to organize your stroke order for the calligraphy part. And so we use these for basic strokes and calligraphy. This is by design to help you get your calligraphy looking cohesive. The right placement, put it right place. So this is a must, and this is usually twice as long, but I cut it in half uh, for a student, usually have a hard time when it's too long. So this is number one paper you must have, okay? So that's one. And then this is just smooth construction paper that you can use to practice either a bigger calligraphy or you're ready for painting composition. So this is an inexpensive way to practice. So construction paper or any kind of smooth paper, okay? So that's number two. And then this is rice paper. American call it rice, but it's actually called xuan, xuanzi. It's found in the town of Xuan. And according to the ancient stories, uh, the wash lady by the river, and they find uh, hemp and uh, rice straw floating on top of the water. And they went out and collect and use a screen and wait for it to dry. That's how they discover paper. That's one of the, according to the legends. So this is a single orchid pavilion paper, okay? So single is very easy to use, and then there's also double. So this comes in a big, big, long sheet, and then you cut it accordingly. So what I usually do is find a mat that you want to use, and then, you know, find the right size. And you can cut it with a scissor, or crease it first, and then use a ruler to measure out your dimension. So this is orchid pavilion, single, and we also have double. So single shin or double shin is what you want to use for um, getting used to the paper because if you jump all over the place, you're not used to how to control your water. And then there's another paper I use is called P, means the skin of the tree, okay? P zi, P, P I. And that one is rougher, has more texture, and I use that one for landscape. So those are the three basic shin that I use. So please be careful what you buy, and you know, please check with me first. So it's critical that you use the right paper and get used to them, okay? And then for um, mixed media, these are thicker, and whatever brand you get, make sure it's smooth because for Chinese brush painting, we need to have smooth texture, okay? So for like a background wash, we want these. And these are um, 138 pounds or 90 pounds. This is 98 pounds, okay? Mixed media by different brands. And just wanna make sure it's smooth. And then basic sketch pad is also very useful, smooth, and it's light and it's easy to use. You can use this for calligraphy or brush painting. So those are the paper choices that we use in class and that you can use at home to practice. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to cut your rice paper. There are many different ways of doing it, but this is one of the ways. So here's a pre-cut mat. You measure the size you want. You give yourself a little bit more, okay? The dimension is 16 by 12. So you wanna give yourself 16 and a half by 12 and a half, okay? And so we'll move this out. We use a cardboard as our template, like a measurement. So 16 and a half, we're gonna go up to 16 and a half. You see that? 16 and a half. Okay. 16 and a half. Very good. 
crease it and then you want to make sure it's straight as possible. We're going to fold it, crease it, and then you can cut it. It's easiest. Sixteen and a half by twelve and a half. So a lot of time I would write it down because sometimes I get confused, like, oh, what was the measurement? I forget. Okay, so twelve and a half right here. Two and a half. Okay. We're gonna crease this. And then open. Because we allow twelve and a half, it will be fine. So a lot of time I will cut multiple sheets so they're ready to go. Okay. Now it's ready for painting. 